Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Deck Tech. I am Dell, and this one's going to be a little surprise because not only am I an idiot, I'm also gullible. But content is content, and I couldn't resist getting this bag of garbage. Mystery Power Box comes with one commander deck, one deck box, and 100 gaming sleeves. But hey, look for randomly inserted chase decks. Goes with Eclipse, Sleeves, same thing on the other side. It looks like all the decks that they probably couldn't sell. I read somewhere that the what happens with these is when like Amazon or somebody has, when it gets damaged, excuse me, they can't sell it. So they tear it open, gut it, goes in the thing. I think that's what happens with those little pack things I get from... Uh, pharmacy where it's more or less them trying to recoup their losses but at the same time I know one dude got a really good deck I'm trying to not see the deck we oh, got a black deck box got the sleeves white sleeves that's interesting because they please be both the same color Are they the right size no, that's right the conventions that's pretty interesting, white and black. One dude got a, uh, a Traxa deck. And that's one of those things that's always going to be... Nope. I'm going to finish that thought because that's a garbage one. Well, boo. For right, so that these weren't this is like 34 40 bucks, something like that. All right, just gonna stay over there. If these had uh pricing a little better, I think it'd be kind of fun to each get a random deck like this and then do a little only when I'm looking at it, give a shit. Oh, draft with these, you know what I mean? But fortunately. Just just priced enough where it kind of suck. Mm. But that's what we're going to do a little half assed deck tech on whatever is in this. I don't even know if I bought these when they came out. Wait a minute. Hold on. I may recant my sinful ways. So the main one on the box at least is Linor. Looks like green, white, coven, that ability where Yeah, you gotta read I'm just reading this up. But this guy, I've been uh, trying to build a deck it's like there's some weird tech with him I was looking at. Oh, I can't think of it now. Crap. These are the commanders. But it's cool to have that. I, I know I didn't buy this now because I wanted to get Kyler. What does he do? Another human enters the battlefield to control. Put a plus one plus one counter on him. Other humans you control get plus one plus one for each counter on him. There's a weird combo with him. I can't think of it. But I think I'm more excited about the deck box and the sleeves because I kind of need some for a pet project where I don't really feel like using my normal good sleeves on it, but hey, whatever. It seems like this is going to be a coven theme deck. We got Dawnhorn Wardens, Moon Silver Key, Abzan Falconer, we got some Outlast, Anok, Bonkin, Elite Scale Guard. These are all humans too, right? No, some of them are. Orzov Advocist. Return to Dust. That's not too bad. Swords of Plowshare. Let me put that off the side. Return to Dust. I guess it should be organized. So this, most of this is going to go right into the chaff. So I need more garbage. Abyss's Pilgrim. Beast Within. Eh. Bestial Menace. Biogenic Upgrade. A lot of plus one counters. That's interesting. Alternate art for Dillis. I will keep Growth Spasm. Spire Call. 
you have a model order. I'm gonna keep during edge award. I'm not junior order range. Kane signet. I will keep. Soul ring. I keep. Swift food boots. I keep. Talisman. I'll keep. Not that one. Command tower is decent enough. Kersenberg, yeah. Myriad, yeah. Path of Ancestry, yeah. I'm the first actual rare, I think. Keep. Curse of Conformity. Eh, rare. One Rescuer. Sigardus Vanguard. Is there a really good card in this deck that I'm not aware of? Hey, maybe I should be more excited about getting this. Because I sure ain't excited to have this. Fall of Mourning. That makes me sad. And there's the battlefield. Exit a card from the top of your library. Face down for each opponent you have. Oh, okay, okay. Because I read the second part. It's like, at the beginning of your end step, if you have it, put one. I'm like, we only have one. I didn't read the each opponent part. That seems decent enough. Or interesting, I should say. Not decent. Not decent. Interesting. Celebrate the harvest. Ooh, Curse of the Clinging Webs. That should go on my spider deck. <laughs> well, even Rudy goes, I should just jam that into the deck without even worrying about if it fits. Use one spider token. It's kind of me here in Blade Elite. Seems decent. Kerbis. Harvest. Oh, well, Scarecrow guy. I don't know. God's the tree folk, but. Ruinous Intrusion. The Guardian. So I should make a human deck. I wonder if Cowler is going to be the one to make me a human deck. The most boring creature type in any fantasy setting is humans. Who cares? Right? Ooh, Bastion Protector. That was pretty good. That's going on a different deck. Citadel Siege. Cleansing Nova. Castani Soulbringer. Dearly Departed. Herald of War. Hour of Reckoning, none of the White Orchids. Okay, in my book. I like Bacchaeus when he's a bad boy. Andric, again, I like this guy. Just on this setting. The Riders of Gavany, Unbreakable Formation, Victory's Envoy. Champion Lampole used to be really good. I still really like this card. Death's a Presence, Gyre Sage, Kessick, Cage Breakers, Dramatic Revelation, Somber Wall Sage, Virgilus Gearhog. Is that the good one? No. Wild Beastmaster. Heron's Grace Champion. Oh, a little cigar reaction here. Okay. I'm okay with that. Life Crafters Bestiary. And on to the lands. I don't know if I like talking about necessarily. I'm just going to flip through, grab the ones that are basics, and then basics are going in a different. Oh, right here with that. Tokens. Recycle. Why is everything falling off screen? This is the cardstock copy of Lenore. Whatever. And uh, actually, a <laughs> decent chunk of the deck is actually what I would keep. The rest of this I'm going to put in my chaff pile. But I uh, wish I could. You know, we're going to take a brief intermission to see if I can find it, and I'll. I'll tack on the last part of here after I'm done. So I'll be right back. So I'm back. So you have Kyler out, Siona, Captain of the Pileus, and Shielded by Faith. What you can do is, you know, enchant something with Shielded by Faith. Uh, Siona creates a 1-1 one -one human. When it enters the battlefield, you can move it to, it's a plus one here, because of the human coming in. But once the human comes in, you move the enchantment to the yeah, the new human, right? And I wish I had the cards in front of me. That would be helpful. But uh, we don't have that kind of content here just yet. Uh, so because a creature in his battle, you can move the enchantment to that. And the Siona has an ability when you enchant a creature, you make a 1-1 one -one token. So you just keep doing it. You make just a huge, huge Kyler swing out with, I don't know, beyond that. But it just looked like a fun little, I haven't saved it in my phone a fun little weird thing, and I've been wanting to build humans, but unfortunately that's not enough to be to build an entire deck around them just yet. But that's kind of neat that the random pool was this stupid guy. So, 
that was this little thing, what do you want to call it? Uh, cleaning up a little behind the scenes here. Not worth it <clears throat> at all, but that's part of the lesson, right? Making a little bit of content, make a little video. Uh, if these were cheaper, it'd be kind of cool to have a group of friends just get together, buy one each, and then, you know, play a little round that I could never see. Sort of like a uh, jump start. But, I don't know. Fun little end to my week. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for next. I don't even know what I'm doing next, but we got some more stuff coming in the pipes. Some more real deck techs. But, as you can see from the thumbnail, uh, I plan on doing these again. This is kind of neat. I'll buy the stupid garbage, but I have a bad feeling if I buy another one, I'm going to get another one of these decks. You know what I mean? It's going to be the same stupid deck again. Guaranteed. But, uh, until next time, love you.